crafters, stampers, card makers. It's Jackie Ballheis from Clomp and Stampers. Today I have a really easy card layout that I hope you use over and over and over. It's a great way to use up all that designer series paper that you have stashed because I know y'all like to hoard it. But what I really like about this layout is it lets you see both sides of the designer series paper. You know, sometimes it's so pretty on both sides, I feel bad when I glue one side down. So this layout, this card layout is perfect. It's also a perfect one for those of you that are beginner stampers. It's easy, it doesn't take a lot of supplies. We're basically using some cardstock, some designer series paper, and just a greeting and putting it on it and bam, we've got a really quick and easy card. So I'm excited to share this card idea with you. Hang on, let's flip the camera down and let's get started. Okay, before we start making the card, I just want to share with you this gorgeous designer series paper. This is called Masterfully Made. It's part of a suite, it has all kinds of coordinating products, but today we're just focusing on using some pieces of the paper. Now remember I said this card, you're going to use both sides of the designer series paper. That's why I really like this one because the front is, if you want to call it the front, is like bigger, you know, more predominant pattern, and then a little bit more subtle on the back. So it works perfect for this card idea. Now remember, any um, designer series paper will work perfect for this layout. Now we're gonna start with actually a six by six piece. So I've taken my 12 by 12, I've already used a six by six piece, that's why I don't have a full sheet here. And I cut it down to six by six. I do that quite often no matter what kind of card I'm making, because I think it's just a little bit easier to work with um, than that big 12 by 12. And it's a perfect size for this. And it also shows that if you wanna make this card and all you have is six by six, it works perfect. Now the first thing we're going to do is cut this down to five and a quarter. So this is our only piece we're not going to use. So we got six by five and a quarter. Now don't worry about these measurements because I will have them all on the corresponding blog post. There'll be a link in the video description to take you there. I'll have a picture of this card along with a couple other ones that I've made using this same layout idea and all the measurements. And I'll even give you like a little cutting chart to show you how to cut the six by six to make it super easy for you. Now, after we've done this, we're still six this way. So then we're going to cut off a one inch piece and then another one inch piece. And then that will leave us a four by five and a quarter piece. And let's just set that there. And then the next thing we need is our card base. Now for this, we're using Fresh Freesia, and I have an eight and a half by 11, just a full size sheet here, and we're gonna just cut it in half at five and a half. So this is what we normally do when we're making cards, fold these in half and you have two card bases. But for this particular card design, we're going to go ahead and cut it the other way at five and a half as well. So I have a five and a half inch square. Then we're gonna go out here to four and a quarter, and we're gonna score it. So I just wanna get a nice score line on there. And that's it, let's move our trimmer and we can go ahead and fold this. Let's see, get the bone folder because we want some really nice crisp folds in there. So that's our card base. Next, we need a piece for the inside. Now this piece is four by five and a quarter. Again, don't worry about those measurements. We got you covered over on the website. And let's see, make sure that fits on there. But what I'm gonna do is take one of my one inch pieces, put some adhesive on there, and we are going to adhere it right over to that edge. I'm gonna show you a little trick. This happens to me all the time. Um, I'm not a perfect cutter and stuff never matches up exactly. Like I think you can see this, how we have just a little bit of white showing down there yet. It'll bug me. I don't know why. It's probably not a big deal, but I just like everything to be nice and even. So I just put in my trimmer and trim it off. Now that designer series paper truly goes edge to edge. And then this piece is going to go to the inside of our card. Now I know we don't really have a front of our card yet, so it's kind of backwards that we're doing an inside, but it's going to work. Hang in here with me. So we're going to just center that in that inside panel. Okay, so there is our inside. There's a little front. <laughs> and then we will take that other one inch strip and this one, we're actually gonna flip it 
and use the other side. Let's see. There's some real subtle print in there. So I want to make sure it's not upside down, although it's so subtle, you probably wouldn't even notice. And we'll put that just on that little flap right there. And then the final piece to putting our card together is taking this other piece of designer series paper and it's gonna adhere to the back of our little um, tiny front like so. So when we open it up, it that becomes the front of our card. Now a little trick to get everything lined up. What I like to do is lay this right on top. Oh, it's not sliding there. Right on top of that inside piece, making sure I line up the right edge. We're a little short there, that's okay, that's not a problem at all. And then put some adhesive out here. Now, make sure you don't go all the way to the top or the um, fold because it's a little bit bigger. And then we just fold it over like so. And there we go, and then let's make sure it's stuck on there really good. So there is our card base. Now from here, we can get as fancy as we want or we can keep it super simple. We're keeping it super simple today. So we're just gonna add a piece of linen thread on here because linen thread goes on everything. We're gonna just wrap it around twice. Okay, and then grab our little paper snips and we will tie a bow here. Let's see if we can get it where we want it. Let's see, I got some adhesive on my fingers which is making everything want to stick where it's not supposed to. So we're just gonna go like so and tie a little bow. Oop, that didn't tie so good, did it? Now, again, we could put ribbon. We wouldn't have to put anything. You can get as fancy as you want with this card front. I mean, just think of this really as a card front, but um, simple, simple. So there we go, there is our bow. And when I designed this card, I actually needed to make a whole bunch of thank you cards. So that's what we're gonna do with this one. Now the beauty of this is, like I said earlier, just add any greeting to this card. So we're gonna make it a thank you. This is from the Something Fancy stamp set. It's one of my favorite greeting sets that I use quite often, especially when I'm just trying to add a greeting with some designer series paper. And then we'll take our dimensionals, put those on there. So remember, all these measurements are over on the website. So just follow the link and you can grab them and you can use this card design with any stamps, ink, and paper that you have. So there's a thank you. And then this does have a nice coordinating inside verse as well. And we're gonna just go ahead and stamp that in the inside. So there is our easy thank you card. Now here's a couple other ones I made. Um, these are all from that same pack of paper. They're all stamped the same. They're all thank you cards. But you can see how this idea works perfect to show off the front and the back of that designer series paper. Plus it's a way to kind of save some of your cardstock because we're not you know, layering um, lots of layers on our card. So I hope you had like this idea and that you give it a try with your own designer series paper and make a bunch of quick and easy cards. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you liked the video. Share it with your crafty friends. Check out my website and don't forget to sign up for my email. Um, the link is over on the website as well. I send out free card making tutorials every week to those of you that subscribe. And they're projects that are not on YouTube or my website. So check that out. Thanks again. We'll be stamping again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.